This is a demonstration video of the SPL Graph video capture option upgrade available for the SPL Graph module in Audio Tools. SPL Graph is a module that provides noise monitoring and SPL logging in Audio Tools. We have always had the option to record the audio along with tracking the SPL levels. Now we've added the ability to also capture video at the same time. After purchasing the video upgrade, just tap the video selection on the capture and choose the size for your video, low, medium, 480 or high, which is often HD resolution on your iOS device. You can record a video of the entire SPL test or by entering a dB value in the events above field, only capture SPL events that exceed that SPL level. Let's see it in action. The window that you see overlaid on top of the graph is the actual video getting recorded by, in this case, an iPad. By tapping the video and swiping up or down, you can change the alpha or the transparency of the window. Swipe left or right to zoom in with the camera. Use a two finger pinch or zoom motion to change the size of the window on the screen. This does not change the size of the video. Tap the blue rectangle and you can drag the window around the screen. And now let's start the test. We just tap the microphone icon to begin recording, and SPL Graph records the octave and third octave levels, statistical analysis, and all dB levels while recording a video of the actual events that are occurring. We can manipulate the video window while the recording is going on, move it around, or change the transparency without affecting the recording. When the test is complete, just tap the pause icon to bring up this dialog box and then select stop. From here, you can go to the save recall screen, enter a file name for this test, and save the file. The video.mov file is saved along with the test results. The MOV file can be accessed from your iCloud for viewing. Next, we'll show what it looks like to recall this file that we've stored and play back the video. Going back into the SPL Graph module, bring up Save Recall, select the file, and tap Recall. Now, when you hit the Play icon on the lower right, the video plays while the audio is being displayed as SPL levels. Here, if there are offending noises, you can see the actual source of the noise. You can use SPL Graph with the built-in iOS microphone, or for upgraded results, use it with our iTest mic for Class 2 results, or iPrecision mic for Class 1 results. There are many more options in SPL Graph for automatic recording and SPL tests. See our website for full details. The SPL Graph video capture option is available in Audio Tools 7.9 or later.